Hello, my dear students. In this lecture, we are going to see Dell operators or operations with any Dell operator. Now, in previous lecture, we have seen this Dell operator. What is this exactly Dell operator? Now, in previous lecture, we have seen the Dell operator is nothing but it is a vector operator and given as i do do x plus j cap i cap do by do x plus j cap do by do y plus k cap do by do z right this del operator in previous lecture we have seen it is only called del operator it is only called del operator or also called as vector operator it is also called as vector operator it is not a vector it is just a vector operator right now what we can do by operating this vector operator that what are the different operations on this vector operator that we have to learn in this chapter right now very first let us understand if i write here first what the different type of operations we can do with the vector let us understand any vector can be multiplied with scalar therefore i will write a vector a vector can be multiplied with scalar can be multiplied with scalar vector we know that if it is having magnitude and direction and if it follows the law of vector addition then it is called vector quantity that already i have stated in first lecture and scalar quantity means having only magnitude right now my dear students see let us say we have one scalar quantity k and we have one vector a then if this scalar is multiplied with vector a then we will get a new vector then we will get new vector let us say vector b then we will get new vector let us say vector b right means after multiplication of scalar with a vector we are always getting a vector and if this scalar if this k is positive if this scalar is positive then here both will be positive then means both will be in same direction therefore vector a and vector b are parallel then in this case both vectors will be parallel very important and if this scalar is negative k is a scalar if this scalar is negative means if a is positive b will be negative and positive negative means see this is a positive x axis and here this is a negative x axis negative x axis positive negative means direction will change by 180 degree means they are called anti parallel therefore whenever k is negative then vector a and vector b are in opposite direction that means they are anti parallel anti parallel still they are parallel but in opposite direction parallel in opposite direction called as anti parallel right for example here in your engineering you are going to learn very famous example that is momentum in your mechanics also you might have learned this momentum now my dear students momentum is represented by vector p momentum is represented by vector p and momentum is a product of mass and velocity momentum is a product of mass and velocity and my dear students here mass is a scalar quantity velocity is a vector quantity therefore this momentum which is a vector quantity is nothing but mass into velocity momentum which is vector quantity is nothing but mass into velocity therefore this is a vector quantity momentum is a vector quantity mass is a scalar quantity and velocity is again vector quantity velocity is again vector quantity this is just an example now let us understand if the del operator is applied on a scalar function then what will happen let us say we have del operator and we have one phi which is scalar function this phi is just scalar function right means it is a scalar quantity right now my dear students here there are two ways to operate this phi on this del operator here if phi is written first and then there is a del operator now my dear students this quantity do not have any significance because again this will be the new operator only this will be the new operator only means this operator this new operator is phi times the previous operator means this is not having do not having any significance as this is not having any significance generally we are not doing such things right we are not doing such things because we are getting new operator only but we have to get some applications right now let us say if del operator is written first and it is multiplied with scalar function then this will be del operator is applied on the scalar function in last lecture also we have seen at the la last lecture at the end in last 30 seconds we have seen this is called gradient of scalar function phi del and phi is a scalar function therefore del operator that is vector operator vector operator is applied on scalar function then it will give us gradient 
gradient of scalar function phi right and my dear students this gradient is always vector quantity this gradient is always vector quantity just now we have seen na k into vector a will be equal to vector b right so this will be always a vector quantity we will get vector quantity right now here we can say phi acts on a scalar function then result will be a vector quantity whenever this del vector operator is applied on the scalar function then result is always vector quantity right now let us understand the another operation now second operation will be a vector any one vector can be multiplied with other vector can be multiplied can be multiplied with other vector with other vector let us say we have two vectors here with the help of vector i will try to explain you let us say we have one vector vector a and we have another vector vector b right and if i multiply these two vectors for multiplication of two vectors we have two ways that is first is dot product if i put here dot then it is a dot product therefore whenever two vectors are multiplied with the help of dot product then result is always scalar quantity result is always scalar quantity in previous lecture also i have explained this result is always scalar quantity but if two vectors let us say vector a is multiplied with vector b with a cross product in between them there is a cross product then result is always vector quantity result is always vector quantity right means for multiplication we have two ways dot product gives scalar result and cross product gives vector result similarly if this del operator is applied on vector function let us say here a is a vector function a is a vector function b is also vector function we can apply this del vector or vector operator on any vector function let us say if i apply this vector operator that is del operator on vector function a i can apply in two ways that is one is dot product and other is cross product therefore this vector operator del operator dot vector a now here we have applied dot product now my dear student this dot product of del vector function gives divergence of vector a it gives divergence divergence of vector a right now my dear students let us understand here now here both are vector quantities both are vector quantities and we are considering dot product whenever we are considering see vector operator and vector quantity vector operator and vector quantity whenever we are considering dot product always the result is scalar therefore the result will be scalar here we can say the result will be scalar will be scalar right del dot a del dot a is a scalar quantity now my dear students here divergence how to remember see divergence is nothing but dot operation of del with a vector function dot operation of del with a vector function is a divergence so how to remember generally during my college days i was very much confused in gradient divergence and curl because these are very important for the proper understanding of this topic that is electrodynamics so how to remember this see divergence here divergence here i am telling you logic and the product is done dot product therefore remember these letters first letters if it is divergence it is a dot product dd right likewise i have remembered you can remember according to your way now between this del operator and vector a if i apply cross product that is del cross a then i will get curl of vector a curl of vector a see my dear students this gradient of vector a then divergence of vector a and curl of vector a or uh, sorry gradient of scalar quantity gradient is only for scalar quantity gradient of scalar quantity then divergence and curl of vector quantity that we are going to in detail going to see in detail don't worry about that here only the lecture is introductory lecture because in next three lectures we are going to see uh, that is first is gradient then divergence and then curl right it is a curl of vector a and my dear students cross product always gives vector quantity therefore result will be a vector quantity result will be always a vector quantity and how to remember this see here this curl of vector a is del cross a the operator del is used with the cross product and my dear students how to remember see again logic here it is a curl and what we are doing we are taking a cross product therefore curl is with cross product and divergence with with dot product therefore remember the first words c for cross c for curl right
थैंक यू डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल स्टार्ट ग्रेडियंट ऑफ स्केल आर देन इन अनदर लेक्चर वी विल सी डाइवर्जेंस एंड कर्ल ऑफ अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी